So welcome to Authentic Sicily. I'm Chef Joe Simonera. I'm Vincent Buda. And for the next 13 days, we're going to be exploring Sicily, a place that thousands and thousands of people have enjoyed throughout the world for great food, great history, and, and great ingredients. Hi, I'm Vincent Buda, and I am here with Chiara, who is uh, with the Authentic Sicily Tour Group. And my first question, Chiara, is how the heck did we get up here? <laughs> <laughs> we are at the, uh, we're in Solina. Yes, we're in, in Solina. In the Aeolian yeah. Islands, and there's uh, about seven Aeolian Islands, I believe. Yes, there are other seven islands. Some of them we can actually see from here. Filicudi and Alicudi from here. On the other side, you can see Lipari and Vulcano, and behind us is Panarea. This is amazing. We are about 3,500 feet up. We took a, uh, a jeep through very thin, small roads to get up here. Yep. Uh, we're at the lip of a volcano. And uh, the reason we're here, though, is to explore this natural reserve that has uh, some amazing resources for foods, for wildlife, for uh, scents, and so on. What's, what are we going to see here? We're going to see a couple of very interesting varieties of plants. Uh, the ginestra ferns that are very unusual for an island such as Salina because uh, the, the vegetation here is so rich because of a moist cap that comes on top of this, uh, of this mountain. Wow. So we have vegetation that will grow on much higher mountains, but it's here in the middle of the Mediterranean. And Kata, let's meet uh, Elio, I believe. Let's go meet Elio. Elio's one of the rangers. He's going to give us a tour of uh, the reserve here and point out some of the real interesting plant life. Okay, excellent. So let's go. Let's uh, see if we can walk let's up the mountain. Follow me. Be careful. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we're here in Salina at the top of the uh, volcano in the natural reserve uh, with uh, Elio. Elio, uh, Vicenzo. Ciao. Ciao. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming here to see us. Um, my first question is, what is around us? What what plants and and and, and, and species are around us? Can you point some out? Qui, qui siamo intanto siamo sul, sul cratere e abbiamo una varietà di piante, macchie mediterranee come ginestra mm -hmm. e corbezzolo e erica. Okay, this is the ginestra. So we are at the border of the crater and around us we can see some Mediterranean bush such as the ginestra and uh, and some others that are down there. Now I pulled out this plant here. Uh, what is this called again? Come, uh, what, what's Come si chiama questa? Questa è una visnaca. Visnaca. Visnaca? O carota selvatica, però una visnaca. This is amazing. We just kind of discovered this on the drive up. But uh, what happens here is this, this particular plant doesn't uh, create any uh, aroma, any perfume, anything. So for pollination, the bugs and the, I think it's the flies in this, in this case wouldn't know to go to the plant. So nature is, it's just amazing when you're in a place like this because you really see how incredible nature is. It created this uh, shape in here that looks like a fly to attract the other flies and to pollinate. I thought it was kind of worth noting because the things that we're going to be seeing here uh, grow in such abundance because of the fertility and the, the health of the land, right? The soil, the humidity, the winds, the perfect microclimates that we find only on top of this mountain. Now the spot we're standing in, I think I'd mentioned we're uh, around the crater of a volcano and, and out in the distance over here is Mount Etna which is the uh, largest volcano in Europe. In active Europe. volcano. In active Europe. volcano. Yeah. I think Etna had uh, eruptions not too long ago, right? Quite a, yes, quite often. It erupts quite often. And maybe if we're lucky at night, we will be able to see some late lava going down the mountain. You oh see this God. tongue of fire coming down. I don't know how they dragged me up here. Chiara, I'm in your hands, right? You can take good care of You're me? You're in good hands. You're okay. in good hands, Vince. Well, let's do this. Why don't uh, you and I and Elio go up uh, the trail here and take a look at what else we have in terms let's of uh, great plants. Let's okay, so we'll go this way. Let's vedere cos'altro troviamo. Got it. We are here at the highest point of all the Aeolian Islands. This is uh, this above everybody, right? Above everybody, yes. Okay. okay, now Elio has helped us pull out a few things here. First, Elio, uh, what is this? It's corbezzolo. Corbezzolo. It's a honeysuckle. Oh, the honeysuckle. So the honeysuckle, it's, has, it's not blooming yet, so the honeysuckles grow here. And then this, I know this is a food show, <laughs> and we're not going to use this, but I know this was used in ancient Greek times? Yeah, in ancient times. In ancient times as a poison. 
Uh, so they would uh, blend this into some kind of potion and... Yeah, they, they would create a medicinal potion and so to kill the mice and rats. So this has been an incredible, incredible time. Thank you so much, Elio. I want to ask you, you see the, the water out there? You think I can hit the water with this rock? Se riesce a raggiungere l'acqua con la roccia. Eh, ci posso provare. I can? No, lui, lui. Do you think? Can I do it? Yeah? yeah. From this rock, I'm going to throw it across. We're going somewhere else on the Aeolian Island, so stay with us. So we're in another one of the beautiful Aeolian Islands. This one's called Limpidi. And Limpidi is uh, uh, famous for pumice, which is a stone. And I just found out from one of the guys here in the crew that pumice is the only stone that when it's uh, in powder form floats to the surface. So a little interesting fact about pumice and uh, continue to stay with us as we go around the Aeolian Islands. So we're continuing to explore the Aeolian Islands. This island is called Volcana. And if you look behind me, that's actually a volcano that is still somewhat active, steam still coming out of it. You can go to the top and you can walk around it, but steam is still coming out. So it just has kind of finished its, uh, its lava flow maybe 30, 40 years ago. There are other islands here that uh, actually still shoot out lava. So it's an amazing, amazing series of islands. What, uh, what happens here is the soil is so fertile that they can grow just about everything. And these islands kind of live off of that, the, uh, the produce and the vegetation that's created from it, like the capers. So we've had a great time on the Aeolian Islands and continue to stay with us as we explore them. Thanks. We're in the beautiful island of Salina, uh, and I'm joined here with Chiara, the beautiful Hello. Chiara as well, who's uh, with Authentic Sicily Tours, and Maria. Maria's going to be cooking for us. Now, Chiara, where are we? What town are we in in Salina? We're in the town of Malfa in, uh, in Salina, and we're at the Ravesi family's home. Uh, the Rivesi family home is, is also a resort yes, as well. Yes, they own a gorgeous resort here in town. Right, right, it's beautiful. They have a wonderful pool. Part of our staff is swimming in the pool right now, making us very jealous. Uh, now, uh, uh, we're about an hour and a half from the Sicily from, shore, right? Uh, from Milazzo, just a very quick hydrofall ride from Milazzo. Right, it's beautiful. There are about seven islands out here in the Aeolian island chain, right? Yes. In the Mediterranean. Okay, so give us an idea of what's going to be uh, prepared cosa, for us. Che cosa prepariamo qua? Un'insalata all'Eoliana. Uh, Aeolian uh, salad. So a traditional, traditional Aeolian, Aeolian salad, salad using all natural ingredients from the island. So we have all the ingredients here on the table. So let's start up here and tell me what is that right there. Queste sono se patate bollite, boiled and uh, peeled potatoes. Boiled and peeled potatoes in a salad. I don't think we've ever had that here. Okay, we also have these beautiful uh, tomatoes. So these are cherry tomatoes. Uh, yes. Grown yes. around here. Grown around uh, here on the island. Okay, all fresh. Uh, I'll, oh. Cosa sono capperi. Capperi, capers. capers. Capers, capers, wonderful. Are they prepared in Dissalati. any way here? Sono they are, they are, the salt has been removed from them because they preserve them in salt, but to, to cook with them, you remove the salt, you wash them. Sono mangiabili in quel so, yeah, otherwise you cannot salati. eat them. This is, the salt is just to preserve them, so when you cook them, you wash okay. the caper so that it's actually pleasant and edible. So that's uh, that's how you do it, though. you just wash them down. Okay, and yeah. uh, what do we have here? These are the cucunci, the cucunci. caper berries. I just this like that name, cucunci. Cucunci, yes. So these are what, berries? Caper berries, caper, caper berries. berries. So See? they're in the family here. They're in the family. The caper is the flower, so look, this is, Vin, this is how they pick the caper. Okay. It is the flower, literally. Well, I've seen you the caper bushes, so that's what I'm picking right yeah, off. Yeah, right? okay. this is the flower, look at this. Wow. I had no idea it was a flower. Now, I am uh, skilled and educated enough to know that these are onions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these are onions, so I'm good. I can do that. And we have... Oregano uh, with peperoncino. Oregano with pepper flakes, red pepper okay, flakes. Okay, a little mix with oregano. It's great. Mm -hmm. And so these are the capers again. Now, I see salt on the papers. So you took the salt out. You, take, them, you, then take, you put the salt back on. Yeah. No, no, no. This is how you preserve them. You can okay. preserve oh, capers see. for years. I see. When you need to, to cook, you take take them out, then what? When clean and them up. And wash them. And, and these are the flowers, them. right? And those are the flowers. Look yes. How beautiful they are. And this is the cucuncho. The one over there Excellent. is this part of the flower. So you have to open the caper to get that, or it grows outside of the mm -hmm. caper. It grows outside. Wow. All right. The cucuncho. I love that. Here we've got uh, some seafood. So some uh, tuna. Tuna. Some tuna. Mm -hmm. 
right from the uh, the docks here in Salina, I'm sure. And pescata Salina. Sì. It was fished in fatto, Salina, yes. Fatto da noi. And Maria made it for us. Okay, grazie Maria. Okay, and the uh, potatoes here, so these are uh, pre before they were peeled and so on, just to yes. give us an idea that there are yes. potatoes in it. Yes. Okay, Maria, let's see what you can do here. Let's pull together Prepariamo. a salad. Prepare. All right, and first in are the potatoes. So you just pour these right in. Posso. See, grazie. Okay. Look at the beauty of the, the colors, onions. Ben. Again, we come back to just how wonderful Sicilian cooking is. It's so simple. Every, all the ingredients are fresh. And you know what I was thinking about this, this entire series, entire trip we've been here? Organic foods. We're crazy about organic foods in the U.S., but everything we're having here is on, on organic food. Yeah. There's no pesticides. They use rainwater. Uh, they're picked fresh that day. I mean, if they've been doing this for a lifetime, eating foods like this. We're, you know, we're simply just getting there, you know. Yeah. And then there's the certification and so on. But uh, I'm, I'm just saying that the foods are, uh, what organic, what organic foods are coming to the U.S. now. Okay, so we're sprinkling the oregano. Mm. I like that. Thank you. A little fragrance for me. <laughs> I'm gonna smell very good tonight. <laughs> Tell <laughs> her that I usually put a little oregano under my ear just to. Olio. Prima di andare a dormire si mette un po' di oregano dietro l'orecchio come profumo. She likes that. Okay, we're warming up there. Little uh, olive oil. Yes, a little bit extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and that olive oil also from the olives here. È sempre dell'isola, dell'isola. Tutto lo, tutto dell'isola. Everything. Yes. Okay, Anche I'm, le patate sono. I want to keep pushing her on this subject, you know, just so Anche she. Anche le patate sono dell'isola. Tutto dell'isola. All right. All right, Look so at this. Mixing it in. Wow. Salata è pronta. Look at this. It's ready. There you go. Ben. Benito. Benito. That's unbelievable. <laughs> this is the fastest cook I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Uh, so. Let's try this first, and, and then yes. I see something on the left side of the table. That is quite that, interesting, uh, yes. As you know, I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> we <laughs> should my explore. my personal favorite. We'll explore in a minute. So, do you mind if I try some? Si, si può mangiare. Okay, go. She's allowing me to eat, which is a big deal here. There's a very, they love to host people, prepare foods. Uh, let me get the tuna in here, too. Tonno, un po' di tonno. Lui è l'assaggiatore. Tonno. Mmm, oh my god. This is great. Do you use any of the salt? The sea salt in any of this? I've messo del sale sopra. Dove? Eh, no, sono, sono oh. salati capri e cucunci. Already the capers and cucunci release a lot of the salt, so you don't need to add salt. It's healthy, it's light, it has a great flavor to it. Huh? Mm. Maria, Buona. you outdid yourself. It's wonderful. Now, Maria, mm. I need to move over to see what we have. On this side, let's just take a few steps over. Ah, these look fantastic. So this is, is this a dessert? It is, this is a dolce. This is a dolce yeah. typical nostro. Okay. A dessert for most people, but a snack every Absolutely. 15 minutes for me. Absolutely. So tell me what this is. Is it dough? I think you said it may be. What is it? It's di patate. Potato? Potato sfinci. Yeah, sfinci is the name of the dessert. Like, like uh, the potato we had in the salad? Yes, like the same potato grown on the island. Boiled? Come le fa, come le fa. Eh, si mh, cucinano le patate bollite. Yes, boiled. So they boil the potato bollite, and then... Si uh, pelano, poi si, eh, poi si aggiunge farina, uovo e un pochino di lievito di birra. Uh, flour, eggs and just some yeast. Lasciano gonfiare, lievitare e poi si friggono. So the potato's boiled and then there's the, the flour, the egg and so on. It's sort of dipped in that, I assume? And uh, you just you just add the, the yeast. You let it rest okay. when the, when it's ready. You, you just you fry it. You just make the little balls. You fry, you fry them, it, and then you roll it in sugar. And sugar, and they're ready to eat. Come so. And then they're ready to Taste. eat. That's what I wanted to hear. And then they're ready to eat. They're ready Come. to. And we, lui piace sentire sono eh. pronte da mangiare. Sì, 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 pronte, pronte. Can I have this? Pronte. Assaggiamo. Maria is treating me like a king here. Okay, let's try one. Salute. Mm. <laughs> this is potato. It's fantastic. Mm. Buone. Deliziosa. Deliziosa. Oh, my Deliziosa. working on my Italian here. <laughs> this has been fantastic. Maria, molte grazie. Prego. Thank you very much, Chiara. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us today. You've been a great uh, co-host. I appreciate the interpretation and everything. And beautiful Chiara. We're here in Salina. It's been a great experience, experiencing the foods. You know, we're at a great uh, hotel and resort, uh, the Ravesi family, Ravesi. right? And, uh, but they brought us into their home. We're actually at their home, in their kitchen, uh, making us a home-cooked meal, which is so special. So thank you so much. And we're just gonna continue to explore around great foods of Sicily and Salina. We'll catch up to you. Ciao. Bye. Hi, we're at the Principe de Salina restaurant and resort. Uh, we have the real 
pleasure of having a meal cooked for us by, what's his name? Giovanni. Giovanni. Ciao, Giovanni. Ciao. Giovanni, ciao, Vincenzo. Giovanni. Good to see you, Giovanni. Chiara, Giovanni. Piacere. I'm with Chiara from Authentic Sicily Tours, and Giovanni's going to make something for us. Chiara, what is she making? I think he's making, what are you making, Giovanni? Cosa ci stai preparando? Sto preparando una carbonara di mare. Oh, si carbonara. Si carbonara. Yes. Okay, yeah. so what's, what's in a si carbonara? È fatta col tonno affumicato che faccio io. Oh, with his own smoked tuna. His smoked tuna. <laughs> e, e poi con, con l'uovo e basta. And then with egg. And then he goes back to the traditional So with recipe. his own smoked tuna and then the egg. And then and the what, egg. Is there, is there a, a, like a sometimes the carbonara has the prosciutto in it, right? Or no? I guess that instead of the prosciutto he's using his tomato. own smoked tuna. Yes, okay. al posto del, del bacon, the bacon abbiamo yeah. instead il of the bacon he's affumicato. using the tuna, the smoked tuna. Wow, that's it. That's very interesting. I think any, we've had that before. Is that a uh, authentic dish for Salina? È una that ricetta tipica di Salina? No, è una ricetta mia. I think it's one of his creations. Okay, so how long does the uh, the tuna, the smoked tuna uh, simmer or whatever's happening? Per quanto tempo la fai rosolare? Pochissimo. Just one minute. One minute it simmers yes. and then what kind of a pasta does it come on? Is it a, a spaghetti, a linguine? Linguine. Linguine? Yes. Okay, so look, while you're making this, are these the, are these the ingredients going into uh, yes. the carbonara? Yes. Everything here. So I see uh, capers, capers, olives, carrots. Carrots. Yes. How do you put the carrots going? Just decoration. Like so oh, they're just decoration. That's decoration. That's yeah. amazing, right? I, it's the matter of fact, everything that came out, I almost didn't want yeah. to eat because it was like a work of art. Uh, the egg. Yes. And then uh, what do you have here? Basil. Basil. Basil, which uh, I actually pulled a piece of basil off one of the trees when we were walking around. It's just, I just put it in my mouth. It was amazing. It had a great flavor, great taste to it. And over here? Parsley. Parsley, and then mm. the uh, tomato. Let's see. Oh, pours it right into the pan. Fantastic. Is this, a, is this a dish that's normally on the menu here, or is it something he specially whipped up? Ce l'hai sul menu questo piatto? È una cosa speciale? Yes, he has it on the menu. Noi il menu lo cambiamo ogni due giorni. Oh, so the, the menu changes every other day? In base al pesce che ci arriva. Because it depends on, you know, right, what, right. what's yes. the fresh catch of the day. All right, so the egg is in. Yes. Just mixing it in now. You can hear it simmering. The other thing I noticed is nothing's measured. Everything's, no, every everything's a finger, you know, a touch of everything. Does he use any of that great uh, rock salt, that Sicilian salt that we've seen? I'm pretty sure he's using sea salt. Sea salt? Uh, sea salt? Not no. Sale marino. Sale francese. Oh, sale francese. He's using French salt. French salt, mm, okay, very unusual. Okay. Now something's gonna happen here. He's gonna put the pasta inside the I think this, he's uh, gonna do circle. another piece of art here. Ben. That's what I just loved about Every, oh, even yeah. the, the, everything we've seen. Desserts, main dishes, and they had art and, 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 pre and presentation. Creativity. And then the, the, yeah, and then the food itself, amazing. Look at the beauty here. I love Kamenaro too. I mean, Me too, and favorite. this is very interesting interpretation. He, he has... It's Although, have you ever kick. had it? Have you ever had it with... Uh, no, I have, have not. <laughs> no, I have not. Look at that. I'd last about six minutes in this kitchen. I wouldn't be able to do with anything that he's doing here. <laughs> and this, is this the, uh, is that bread from Cos'è questo? Questo è polvere di cappero. Oh, it's a uh, powder of capers. Powder of capers, just as an accent? Uh, just as one an accent. Spe speciality, speciality, uh, only principe di salina. So, so it's a unique, yes. uh, unique touch of the Principe di Salina. The caper powder is a unique touch just from Salina. Yeah, okay. from Principe di Salina, from his own Oh, from his from own his restaurant. restaurant. Okay, yes. wow. Bella. Wow, look at the beauty here. That's great. I need a fork. Deve assaggiare I need lui. a fork. <laughs> I don't understand. I have to have a fork. I have to try your magnificent meal. Okay, all right, please. I'm going to go in. You take that half. I'll take this half. And cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Magnificent. Buonissima. Thank you. And uh, Chiara and I are going to stay here and we're going to finish this. And we hope uh, we hope to see you back pretty soon. I don't know where we're going from here, but we're going somewhere Some fun, I'm sure. Some marvelous place. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.
Joe, we're at the Gustavus Cooking School. We are here. In Harold Square. Square. Yep. Fantastic Excellent. place. We're with Michael Wilson from La Cucina. Thanks Mike, for coming, Michael. How are you? Nice to, Good to see you. Hungry, Good to see you. Thanks for coming. We know we have so much in common with La Cucina because we just finished uh, exploring Sicily all over. We covered the entire island, I believe, right? We did. You guys went from uh, Chef Alou to Syracuse? Uh, for one piece, we did that. Yeah. 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 And uh, we did another piece where we were on the island of Pantelleria. Beautiful. Wow. Which is sort of the farthest southern reach you know of Italy actually it's a tiny island sort yeah, of cl almost closer to North Africa than it is to Sicily wow and in um, an incredible place uh, for for its cuisine and, and the produce and so it's it was a really in a lot of ways a culinary yeah, everything you do was so authentic which is you know really the premise of our show uh, authentic Sicily and uh, Joe, you're going to be making one of the recipes that's yep. featured in La Cucina. Absolutely. Uh, traditional Sicilian dish, traditional right? Traditional Sicilian doing? dish, you know, with, with a little bit of a twist. But I'm just going to show you uh, a real simple salad. You know, when I think of salads and salatas and stuff like that, I think of nice refreshing type of food, you know, not too acidic, very gentle on the palate. Yeah. And I think this recipe really balances out the flavors very well. So just to take you through a couple of things we have here, Vince, this is called a tomato. It is a tomato. <laughs> it's red, it's round, it's acidic, but it's really good. Mike, of course, is a, a food connoisseur here. <laughs> Vince will eat anything, but maybe, you know, just kind of yeah. walk him through the I recognize a tomato, red, round. I like that. So we have a lot of great ingredients here. What yep. we're going to do is incorporate them all. I'm big on presentation, so I like it to be uh, presented in a way where the eye is both pleased as well as the palate. So to get started, okay. this is a real simple recipe, and I'm hoping that you guys can can help me out here. Yeah. All right, starting with Vince. That's the I'm going to give too you. Much, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely going to give you the job of whisking, if if that's okay. I don't even know what whisk means, okay. but you can explain well, that to what me. What I'm going to do is take some lemon juice here, yep. and I've just squeezed a couple of fresh lemons. Okay. Take a little bit of salt. This is sea salt. Right. Put it in there. Now, when you gently whisk the vinaigrette, just pour in the oil a little bit at a time. We want it to, to, to marry nice. So you think you can do that without splashing me with oil? <laughs> you want me to continue pouring the oil yeah, in? Yeah, if you can. Okay. While, while you also... And I'll be whisking. I'll give you two things. I'll be whisking. whisking at once. Okay. Now, next, what I'm going to do is take this, uh, this tomato here. <laughs> now, Mike, talk to us a little bit about what you do in the magazine. I mean, you have a real intricate function there at La Cucina Italiana. Um, well, I, I edit the magazine, but um, we, um, we, we basically... Um, um, Bring, uh, the majority of our recipes we're bringing from Italy, right. and we're making them and testing them here. And um, you know, there's a lot of ingredient substitutions, unfortunately, but we we make them we make them work. Exactly. And um, taste is sort of authentic and um, as delicious as possible. Mike, has uh, anyone ever made kitchen? you? Has anyone ever made kitchen. you whisk before? Uh, Yes, they I, have. He, he's half I, whisk on his father's side. Yeah. <laughs> he's half whisk on his father's side. <laughs> and um, so, but a lot of that involves uh, actually traveling to Italy and writing travel stories and exploring. Well, that's a bad part of the job, yeah. right? I mean, traveling. Well, oh my God. I'm usually at my desk, but uh, <laughs> it, it, we uh, we we send a lot of uh, people there and. Uh, this show mm. might change that. You never know. Like <laughs> yeah. Your function on this show is really, <laughs> yeah. you know, the lead guy to travel yeah. over that. But how many times a, a year do you travel over? Uh, five. Five to six. Five to six. So, wow. Yeah. We got to hang out with Mike, I think. That's, that's definitely really got to hang out with him. You know, Mike, I, I know we were talking just before the show about capers and that the, the, the best kind of way to kind of preserve capers is in salt. Yeah. And which I've, I've actually washed them off here. But can you talk to us a little bit about capers? I mean, you're, you're a caper fan. I am. I am. Well, the salad that you're making is sort of loosely based on a salad that you might, a typical that salad plate. that you might find all over Sicily, and it's particularly good in on Pantelleria, on the island of Pantelleria, and because uh, of the capers, um, ah. they are sort of that's the key. Those capers, the, the, are the, the capers, track. and the capers from Pantelleria are absolutely the best uh, of all the Italian capers, if not the in, in the world, and. Um, Mm -hmm. It's always best to look for capers that are packed in salt rather than in brine. Right, that's what I've heard. They preserve um, it better. The 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 texture is better. They pop a little bit more. They're a little um, they're a little they have a little bit more bite to them. Right. Um, and you want to. Some people say so the smaller buds are are better than the bigger buds. And I. I so it, so capers could be used not only in just cooking, but you know, just in in its in its form of popping it in the mouth and chewing absolutely. it and saying, "Hey, absolutely. this is really good." Is that the technical spit term? Bowls? Popping it in the it's mouth. It's popping, <laughs> you know, unless it's gone through a straw, and then it could be like kind of spit. We saw the capers driven, in the Etna region, which were magnificent yeah. as well. Oh my yeah. god! 
Yeah. And and on the uh, island of Salina as well. Salina. You know, there's nothing bad about uh, anything. All parts of Sicily were just beautiful. I mean, every every part. We're going to take some fennel that we've shaved up. There's always just a little bit of vinaigrette there. Vincent, I'm just going to ask you to uh, twirl it around a little bit with the fork. Get it nice and kind of wet there. Okay. Mike, since you're doing such a great job of telling us in Italy, <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe we could just continue. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to sing at all, Mike? Mike? Any <laughs> singing in the... Uh... No, I don't, I don't know uh, if singing is really my... Do my you, you, sing, you sing when you cook, don't you? No. I know Vince sings in the shower. I actually, I was in a hotel room right next to Vince, and I heard this loud Pavarotti voice, yeah. and, and I was like, who is this? And it, sure as enough, Vince comes out with a towel and a glass of wine, <laughs> yeah. and he's singing yeah. out to the, to the people in Italy. That's now, they tried story. to stone him at one point. Yeah. Well, sure. My CD's coming out shortly. <laughs> Look for it. <laughs> so, you know, again, with the, with the presentation, I just have a cucumber ring here. And, you know, it's just a matter of putting, putting some flavors together and, and, and making things look good. You know, we have some things, uh, we have some anchovies here as well. One thing I like to do with the anchovies is actually take the caper and roll them up. Sure. It was like a, always a, a, an appetizer around my house growing up. Um, you know, my, my family's very big in the anchovy kind of movement, I should call it, <laughs> where we've had the anchovies rolled in like uh, yeah. almonds and, and, you know. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. I'm, my family's actually from Naples, but I have a lot of relatives that are Sicilian. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's been a lot of that influence cooking it as, a, as a grown up figs as well. Mm -hmm. Figs are not in this recipe, however, sure. but, um, you know, this just goes to show you that, you know, you can add certain things to the dish. As far as the tomatoes, I know there's tomatoes in the recipe, and there's really two kinds of ways to make a salad. Just throw everything in, in, in a bowl, kind of mix it up and hope for the best, right. or maybe play around with it a little bit and, and you know, get, get creative. Either way, it's still going to end up in the, in the stomach and the tummy. But, you know, sometimes there are things that you kind of want to incorporate in the vinaigrette. So there's all different kinds of variations to, to what you're doing here. Get some of the capers. What's your best way of having capers on here in the salad? Oh, I would just sprinkle them on top as you're doing. Yeah. The capers yeah. are another one of those ingredients, though, that are Arab influence Absolutely. Uh, yep. in yeah. Sicily, which we yeah. saw so many things. I mean, yeah. I think the, uh, the, the oranges and the lemons. Exactly. And yeah. exactly. yeah, there's, there's, all, there's a lot of influences with lemon. I mean, every, every farm we went, there was a, a, a different um, lemon trees, olive yeah, oil, all stuff. over. And, and it really, what I like about that is it was so organic. Like, you could walk out of someone's backyard and sure. just kind of smell it and really, really get into it, which is... Uh, I love the way people live like that. They live off the land. They really have a, a deep respect for the culture, the food. Well, Vince, guys, why don't we dig in and taste a little bit on the way out here? But thanks for coming on and, and, and cooking What's with me today. What's the name of the salad again, Joe? Vince, this salad is called Ensalata Pantaralia. Wow. You did that very did well. Did you like that? <laughs> I'm impressed. you got to get that, that down. Okay. Right, guys, forks. dig in. Let me know what you think. If you don't like it, Vince told me about the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe and many others can be found in La Cucina. Michael, salute. This Salute. is my Sicilian Sunday. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you for coming on the show and cooking with me today. It really was a thank pleasure. You. Thank you. And everyone at home, if you want to learn more about La Cucina Italiana magazine, log on to lacucinaitalianamag.com for more info to learn about Mike's work and, and Vince's wonderful travels all over the world. Until next time, arrive at the TV hungry for us to tantalize your fantasy.